Now in its most simplistic fashion, there's two main moving parts to the golf swing, how we move our arms and how we move our body. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move your arms correctly, specifically how the trail arm or the right arm for the right hander plays a huge role in creating some consistency to how we can deliver that golf club back to the ball. Let's get into it. Back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here back in the studio at Joondalup Resort. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the great content coming your way for the rest of the year. Alrighty, in today's lesson we're going to be talking about how the right arm for the right hander or the trail arm needs to work to deliver you a little bit more consistency back to the ball to ensure that you can get a better strike. Now for those of you who tend to hit behind the golf ball too much, so you take too much turf, or the golf club is rising and you're hitting the equator, which results in those ugly feeling skinny shots. Well, this is gonna be an excellent drill that you can practice. Now, getting the arms and the body working more in a sequence is something that the professional does that the recreational golfer always looks to try and improve. And really what we see when I'm looking down at the range is a whole lot of different motions with how the arms move relative to the body. And all that means is there's gonna to have to be a lot more compensations in the downswing. And therefore you're gonna get a lot more variability with your strike and direction, creating some more inconsistency to where that golf ball shoots off the club face. So once again, in this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about how the right arm needs to move. And the reason this is so important is this really controls how we set the golf club in the backswing and also our connection with our body. Now, if we simplify this, I'm gonna take my left arm off the golf club. Now, this is obviously flipped around if you're a left-hander, but typically what we tend to see, the two main errors with players when they take the golf club away and then when the golf club moves into the backswing is either the right arm will move away from the body, creating a high degree of separation between the torso and the underarm here, that tends to create a lack of wrist hinge and leverage, and therefore the arms tend to bend too much. And then from the down the line view, we see a lot of pulling. So you can see that this right arm is moving back and behind the seam line of my shirt. Now, when we do that, the arms get too far pulled across the body, and that causes a slew of errors with how that golf club can move back into the golf ball. So a great drill to work on both of these. So to eliminate the separation of that arm moving off the body and also the pulling of that arm around your body is to get your other hand. So we're gonna use your left hand for the right hander and you're gonna place it just on your right pec. And when you do this, you're gonna lay your arm down just so it's on the fingertips. Now it's important here, it's just the fingertips and not your whole hand because this is really gonna force you to try and get the feeling of maintaining that connection. So as we apply this into a practical drill, I've simply got my hand on top of my pec, and therefore then I've got my arm sitting on top of the fingertips. And from this position here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to slowly make some little swings back and through, keeping that point of connection constant throughout the motion. Now, if you're someone who tends to separate that arm off your body, well, straight away, you can see that I lose that connection. Or alternatively, if you're someone who tends to pull the arms around your body, you can see that arm moves behind. So if you isolate that left arm movement and you just put your arm on top of your fingertips and you just make some little swings back and through, you might start to notice some different sensations. You might start to notice that your body's turning a lot more. You might start to notice that you have a little bit more tilt or angle to your shoulders. Or more importantly, you might start to notice that it feels like your right arm for the right hander is a little bit more in front of your body and connected rather than pulled behind or indeed separated away. Now, this might recruit a few new muscles that you haven't used for a while. So just be mindful of that. So just a few small swings to start off with, just getting the sensation that that chest and that arm is staying connected as we go back. Now, the reason we're doing this with our trail arm is because when we put it into this position and we move the golf club back, one of the most important angles that we create in the golf swing is the angle of the club shaft and the forearm, specifically what the right wrist is doing for the right hander and how that bends back. And the reason that we isolate this and just use our trail arm is when we get into this position to support the weight of the golf club so it doesn't feel so heavy, we need to create wrist hinge. So if you're not someone who creates wrist hinge, 
Well, this, this is an excellent drill to get the feeling of doing so. So we've got our arms set on top of our chest. We're swinging back into the halfway position. We can see that we've created a bit of hinging and cup to that right wrist, which is supporting the weight of the golf club. But my arm is still sitting on top of my fingertips in this position. Now, as we swing through, the same thing applies. We want to maintain that connection all the way through. And that's going to encourage my chest to continue turning and that arm to stay connected. More importantly, that once we've set the golf club back into this position, we've created this angle. As we bring it back down into position, you can see we set the club nicely here where the hand is in front of the right leg, which is what you'll see with a lot of professionals. And then moving into impact, we start to get shaft lean where the handle is in front of the club head. So moving into a drill, what we've got is we've got five balls down on the ground here, and we're just gonna start off with a progressive overload drill, just using little swings to get a feeling of that connection. Now the first one, what I want you to do is just chip one down there a few meters. Get the feeling of that staying in constant contact. Now the reason we're starting off slow and then building up is because if you can't do it on a little shot, we're well, gonna find it very difficult when you start to progress with that distance. So make sure you start off slow and small. And once you've got that feeling, well then you can build up a little bit longer, making sure that you can still strike that golf ball with a reasonable strike. And then once you've done that again, then keep increasing. You wanna try and get this to the point, I've got a 50 degree wedge here, that we're able to hit the golf ball, as you can see, nearly about 50 meters. Now, if I try and go any further than that, based on the club I'm using, well then I'm gonna start losing the integrity of how that drill is actually working in relation to my arms and my body. So it's not really useful for me to go any further. So once I've maxed out a distance where I feel like if I go any further, well then I'm gonna start compromising the strike. Just stay at that level and just keep hitting shots, really focusing on that point of connection on top of the fingertips so it's never sliding off at any stage. If you do, simply go back to the smaller swings and simply just get the feeling of just getting that motion working through that nice connection where you can feel it staying in contact the entire time. So if you're struggling with how your arms are moving around your body, you're not creating enough wrist hinge, or you feel like your arms are pulling in the backswing, this is an excellent drill for you. Get your left hand for the right hander, place it gently underneath the right arm, just so the fingertips are sitting on top of the pec there, and then make some small swings back and through, feeling yourself support the weight of the club. And if you can strike the ball when you do this exercise, it means that you're using your arms and your body more in sync, and it's only gonna help you create a little bit more consistency and strike on that golf ball in a more repeatable fashion. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please go down below once again, click subscribe, click that little bell. But if you've got any questions, please let me know. Until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.